<clears throat> All right, what is going on, fellers? Uh, I am going to do a video real quick here addressing this fucking insane, stupid piece of shit who's lurking around on my channel, kind of stalkery, kind of creepy vibes from this kid. Uh, um, if you watched my last few videos, you, you'll know a little bit about this dickhead, but uh, yeah, in this video, I'm really going to let him have it, because this is really funny shit that I just found out, and I wanted you guys to see it, because it's, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, Alright, so um, he uh, watched my last video, my uh, Atomic Purple Controller video, where I talked about this sweet controller, and then I started talking about how this guy was lurking my channel and being fucking weird and shit, right? Well, he did a response, and it was pretty cringe, and I can't wait to show you guys. So, um, yeah, check it out. So, uh, yeah, as you can see in my, uh, my alerts here, this motherfucker keeps sharing my shit, right? And YouTube keeps letting me know that, and I'm like, why? <laughs> you know, that's weird. How is this guy able to uh, send me stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I, uh... I have it set so no one can send me shit, you know? I don't want incels or weird gamer gators like this guy uh, talking to me, you know? I want to avoid losers like this. So I made it so my channel will uh, hold strangers' comments for review, and I never check that shit, so basically no strangers can contact me on YouTube after watching my videos, you know? That's, that's how it goes. I'd rather not interact with people on YouTube for the most part. You random people on YouTube are creepy. So, I've dealt with that when I first made this channel, so I immediately, as soon as I found out how, made it so that these weirdos uh, couldn't talk to me. But at the time, about four or five years ago, I made it so that uh, certain people I like, would uh, their comments would show up. Other people that um, I kind of liked, uh, their comments would only show up for me to see and then everybody else, uh, they, they, uh, their shit gets held for review unless I look at it, right? So anyway, uh, the, uh, you kind of have to watch the last video to get an idea of uh, where me and this fucking moron are in our little drama here. But uh, our good friend here, our PG ghost, he says to me, One, we were never friends, you know? Like, and, and get, get, get this shit, like he even added like some stuff down here. This is very childish behavior, very beta behavior, you know? After he gets done grilling me and saying all this nasty shit to me, fucking before walking away, he has to come back. You also stink, and you're also a gay. You know, it's really fucking sad. Like, this guy's clearly really upset. And anyway, so let's, let's start with what he said, you know? We were never friends. It's like, uh, well, we were never really good friends, bro. I, it's not like I fucking know you. It's just you liked some of the stuff I was doing and saying. I liked some of the stuff you were doing and saying at the time. So we got along. And uh, I thought you were cool enough. So I put you in my, uh, in my, uh, you know, people who are allowed to comment part of this uh, channel. Approved people, basically, right? And that was like five or six years ago. That's why I barely fucking remember you. But it, it, it must be true, you know? And I'll get to that in a second. And then uh, this dickhead says, uh, I am 22. And it's like, yeah, I made fun of him. I said he was a stupid kid. And, uh, well, you know, 22. Basically stupid kid age, right? I was a dumbass when I was 22. Uh, maybe not as fucking stupid as this guy. <laughs> but, you know. Anyway, I, I don't see why he got so offended by that. Like, I was close. Whatever. 18, 22. You're still a dumb fucking kid. Anyway, and then he goes off about the whole critical thing. He's really upset about that. This guy dick rides hard for critical. He wants to suck critical's dick. Like, it's pretty pathetic. Like, I don't even have much beef with critical. I think he's mostly a cool dude. Like, why, why are you acting like I hate critical so much? He just made a, a fucking mistake, and people were pointing it out, including me. That's all. Jeez, take it easy, you fucking loser. My God. I would fucking kill myself if I was this pathetic, personally, but whatever. So that really bothered him. That was clearly the most butthurt part of all this. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I'm sorry that Charlie doesn't know you and you simp for him hard and get no respect for it. I, I, you're killing yourself for no reason. I don't know what your problem is, dude. 
And then uh, he says, number four, this is a community post on my channel, you moron. It's like, I, I know that, dude. Uh, my question is, why the fuck is YouTube letting me fucking see that? You're fucking sending me that shit, you know, letting me know. And it's because... Once upon a time, I put your dumb ass right here, dude. You see that shit, you fucking idiot? <laughs> like, you're here, man. Don't act like you don't know who I am. You've been lurking my channel for years. I haven't checked this shit in years, but I put you here. That means we knew each other once, dickhead. Stop acting like that's not a thing. Like, we were cool with each other once upon a time. Only cool people landed in there. Only people who were cool with me and I was cool with Beck landed in there. So once upon a time, and I imagine, because I was talking shit about microtransactions, you are at least smart enough to agree that microtransactions in gaming is bad, and you and me probably hit it off talking about it, that's all. And then uh, you probably eventually learned that uh, I'm a leftist, and uh, you're a right-wing dickhead, and uh, we wouldn't get along after that, and I imagine that's why you never really came back to the channel and whatnot. So... Pretty ridiculous, but that's how that goes. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I started looking up some of the uh, channels that this dickhead subs to, the Halo Cannon channel. Yeah, funny story, I got into an argument with the Halo Cannon guy, this dude. What, what is this shit? Taking a break from Halo and YouTube? What, what the fuck? Is the channel not doing good or something? Like, what, what, what gives? I know Halo's a joke now, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Anyway, I wish this guy the best. I think he's a good enough dude. But yeah, me and him got into it back in the day. I was all like, Halo's story isn't that great. It's kind of like a ripoff of StarCraft, and it's got some, like, Spartan warrior themes and some historical war themes and some, like, religious Bible shit. The Ring World book themes all kind of rolled into one. It's not very original. And it's kind of goofy shit, like look at Sergeant Johnson in the first game, he dies all the time but manages to keep showing up, and it's just kind of silly, you know? And he got like super personal about it, and <laughs> it's kind of cute. But anyway, uh, whatever, this channel is kind of silly. But anyway, next up we got uh, this guy, the Steve Wilco Show, Jesus Christ, this is sad. This RPG ghost kid is into this shit, he subbed to this guy's channel. This fucking, like, family drama shit, you know? Maury, fucking Jerry Springer, shit like that. I bet you this cuck fucking enjoys, uh, fucking, like, Judge Judy and stupid shit like that. Dude, this RPG ghost kid I'm dealing with is a brainless fucking incel. Jesus Christ, this kid is a fucking loser. And, oh, God. Uh, worst of all, he tells me, um... He, he, real, real, real quick, he says, At least my name is better than any of yours, Soy Clown. <laughs> like, Soy Clown, that's good. Oh my god. No, dude, RPG Ghost, that's literally like an AI-generated dumbass name for some eight-year-old who just got Xbox Live. Like, there's no creativity behind it whatsoever. Try again, dude. And everybody compliments my name, so... Meanwhile, you're a fucking nobody, so whatever, dude. I, I gotta disagree with you on that one. And then, uh, then he says right here, everything else, go watch some Memeology 101. And he's referring to this channel right here, which is the most pathetic, sad, beta male cuck shit I've ever seen. Look at this garbage right here. Oh my god. Alright, so scrolling down to the, the bottom of this asshole's channel, Memeology 101, back when he was doing uh, content about five years ago, roughly, he, he started out as just some little incel gamer gator piece of shit who was obsessed with, uh, fucking, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, what is this crap called? What is this shit? Everybody knows that you're a little weeb anime fucking beta, if you're into this, uh, what is this? Dragon Ball Z, right, yeah. So it's just some Dragon Ball Z cuck, you know? And he uploaded, uh, gameplay of fighters and stuff like that. And eventually, over time... He got sucked into a right-wing rabbit hole, and it just got really sad. He started criticizing all these left-wing people, you know, started doing all the right-wing memes and shit like that. It's just really fucking sad, attacking all these people who don't really deserve it. Some of them do, but it's mostly attacking people, like, way too aggressively. 
and uh, always siding with Nazi lover trash, basically, never criticizing people like Trump, you know, never criticizing people like Keemstar or, or Milo Yiannopoulos or assholes like that. He's even got a few videos where he praises assholes like that. So uh, are you seeing this, guys? Isn't this the most, like, brain-rotten, online-only, permanently-online fucking creepy channel? Like, this is just fucking pathetic. Like, this is a loser-ass channel. Like, this is where... This is where people who have, who have never gotten pussy go, you know? And the guy's a total creep, too. I notice he's really got a problem with that Pokimane lady. He's obsessed with her. Like, this is fucking creepy shit, dude. And, uh... Yeah, this, uh, this RPG ghost uh, dickhead wants me to be a fan of that channel. And I, I, I just can't, my guy. I just can't. I fucking can't. No way is... That would make me... That would destroy my brain, just like it has destroyed yours. I, I'm not doing that, dude. But anyway, uh, down here he says, Also, I am not right wing. I am apolitical. Scum get called out, no matter blah blah blah. Okay. You're right wing, dude. You just told me to go to that memeology uh, fucking channel, and it, that is right wing as fuck, dude. All attacking Biden after attack Biden after attack Biden video after video, like it's just endless. And no attacking Trump. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? You're a right winger, dude. You're a fucking idiot. You're just too fucking stupid to realize it. And this is the dumbest thing that he said. Oh, and socialism doesn't work. Never has. Never will. And then he says this, I, I prefer superhero-themed Ziploc uh, bags over starving to death. Like, oh my god, what a ridiculously oversimplification and generalization of how socialism works. Like, dumb fuck. <laughs> Dickhead, you do realize that we have social security and Medicaid, you know, systems that are, you know, socialist, you fucking idiot. Yeah, how do you think all the uh, military people get their free uh, healthcare, dumbass? Like... This country has systems of socialism within it working on our fucking way of life right now as I speak. You fucking moron. You don't know anything. You're such a dipshit. Jesus Christ. I would fucking kill myself if I were you. My God. So, anyway, uh, that's all I got from this dickhead. Uh, so, yeah, this is really fucking sad. And, I, like I said, guys, I shouldn't respond to fucking chodes like this. Waste of time, they're creeps, they're losers, they're whatever. So yeah, I just gotta click this X right here, and this fucking dickhead, oh, is out of my life forever. Isn't that great? That's what I love about YouTube. You can just sort of like edit these fuckers out of existence, you know? They might as well be dead to me. So that's the end of that, dickhead.